Well, Robert, you've played in, you know, look, I know every game's big. You don't get a lot of chance to play, but you've played the Texas and Nebraska's, and you've, you've got to play these teams. But I know last year, Texas, you had a big game with two touchdowns. And against Nebraska here, you scored a touchdown, right? So what is it about those games? It's not like you've never scored touchdowns against anyone else, but uh, what is it about these big-time teams? And I mean, does it just worked out that way? Do you get a little extra pumped up for them? I mean, what, what can you tell me about that? You know, there's some, some in my head. I think I'm a big-time player, so I feel like when I step in this game, if I do anything less than, like, you know, touchdowns, and I feel like, you know, maybe uh, I start questioning myself. So I go out here in these big games and be really, really poised because uh, I know it's top competition. And I know, you know, if I want to play the next level, then uh, I'm going to have to rise up to the occasion. Right. Do you prepare any different for, like, a game like this or Texas as you would anyone else? Or is it just uh, something in the back of your mind that you think about? Or do you do something different to prepare for these games? I actually do not prepare different. Every game I always you know, visualize myself making these touchdowns because I feel like every time I get the ball, I'm going to score like 75% of the time. That's how I just think. You know, and, uh, I go to every game like that, but I guess it's just, you know, uh, God give me the opportunity to, to, to score in that, in, that, in that situation. What do you remember about playing Nebraska the first time? I know it's been a couple years and play, you know, this team's changed. They've certainly changed, but would anything stand out that you remember from playing them, at least what you saw defensively or anything that kind of stands out that way? Uh, I mean, probably, I would say the fans, you know, they came here, we had to play extra bleachers, and, you know, and uh, we was away, and I could still, you know, see all the red and, and, and they fans cheering, so I know if we go over there, they're they not going to show no mercy. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I love situations like that. You know, Texas is 100,000 100, people, you know, and uh, I just embrace it all and just, you know, just try to play. Right. What do you think? I don't know how much film you've seen so far. What do you – what concerns you about their defense, or what do you think? You know, what what sticks out with you with them defensively, and what maybe do you think you guys can exploit on them on Saturday? Yeah, um, you know, nothing scares me because I feel like we well prepared, but uh, their DBs are, are pretty good. Uh, I feel like they play physical, and uh, I feel like you know they're one of some of the best best cornerbacks in the in, uh, in NCAA. And, uh, I just feel like we prepared, so you know, mm -hmm. no matter how good they are, I feel like they're gonna come with it. Right. Now I gotta ask. First day of classes. I know you haven't gone through all. All your classes. What's your favorite class this semester, or what do you think it's going to be this semester? Uh, I got an internship, so uh, you know, just chilling like that. I mean, I don't know. I feel like advertising. I got an advertising class, and you know, I feel like that's going to be very useful. For me. Okay. But uh, I'm just really happy just to, to get into this internship. Right, Guys, that what's one of maybe one of your most boring classes going to be? You think, or yeah? I got a night class that's like three hours. So I don't know how I got in that. But, uh, I know that's gonna hit me at night from like seven to ten. Uh oh. So yeah, that's 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 crazy. <laughs> All right.